Tonight at 6, poorly run HOA boards not just making life miserable for residents, but harder to find affordable housing. In a story you'll only see on 11 Alive, investigator Rebecca Lindstrom spent some time in Peyton Place. It's an Atlanta neighborhood that has an HOA, but conditions are so bad even Section 8 won't allow its tenants to live there. Back up. Back up. Neighbors Do sometimes squabble. Do not touch me. I didn't touch you. But in this case, the homeowner, Michael Shepard, is upset the HOA president, Claire Cherry, isn't properly collecting HOA dues to fix the damage in their community. That's right, he's upset she's not taking his money. This is what happened when I mailed the checks. They were returned to sender. Shepard did pay dues when he first moved in, about $1,500. He has no idea how that money was spent and now says the board only wants cash. Other residents say they haven't even bothered paying. I purchased in May. I have yet to even understand who I'm supposed to pay HOA dues to. How many notifications have you received from the board? None. Information telling you what's happening in the nothing. community? Absolutely nothing. A budget? Nothing. After talking with nearly a dozen owners and renters, it seems this community hasn't had a functioning HOA in a long time. And no dues means no repairs. This is supposed to be secured. This is the uh, access for util utilities coming into each of the units. I mean, these gutters are pointless. Yeah, they, these, these would have to go. We found units with raw sewage coming out of busted pipes. The trash can itself is, well, garbage. And the roof is damaged just about everywhere you look. So despite how nice Shepard's unit looks on the inside. I wanted to do this in mass. Atlanta Housing Authority told him there were too many problems on the outside to allow tenants using its housing choice voucher, formerly called Section 8, to live here. Even though studies show Metro Atlanta needs nearly 400,000 more affordable units to meet the need. And I said, OK, I'm going to do what I can to work with the HOA on that. And then I realized rather quickly that they had zero intentions of making any repairs, having any meetings, fixing things up. No board member lives in these townhomes, but we did find HOA President Claire Cherry picking up trash in the neighborhood. According to property tax records, she owns nearly 30% of the units in Peyton Place, which means with a functioning board, she'd owe about $25,000 each year in dues. I'm Rebecca Lindstrom with 11 Alive. I was trying to reach you. As we tried in vain to get answers, code enforcement passed out violation notices, demanding homeowners do what the HOA will not. This is the heathen right here. Why is he a heathen? What is he saying that's not true? All the things that he said is not true. And that brings us back to this moment. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. A fight that led to police, but no answers on how to move this community forward. I have found five bills in Georgia's legislature targeting HOA issues, but none of the committees assigned have brought them up for discussion. If you